Hi, I'm Jack, out here in the reed beds of Wild Walk for another episode of Wildlife Weekly. It's been a fantastic year for insects, in particular butterflies, which can be seen all along the nature trail. We're getting a small tortoise shell, small skippers, and I can also see them in the butterfly gardens where all the flowers are in bloom. You can't have loads of uh, butterflies without loads of caterpillars. You may have seen some small black spiky caterpillars around the, the nature reserve, uh, feeding on nettles. These are just bulking up to, to go through their metamorphosis, uh, so they'll turn into nice, pretty peacock butterflies. Here's some footage of a web spider who's created a nest in the reeds. Surprisingly, her web can only spot her weight, but also the weight of her hundreds of spiderlings. It's not just been a fantastic year for butterflies, but also for dragonflies, in particular the four-spotted chaser which you can see out on the reserve. The uh, best way to identify this is from its four spots on its wing. These are an indicator species and they just show that the, the wetlands are nice and healthy and there's plenty of food out there for them and good habitat as well. If you're interested in seeing these insects for yourself, Go down to your local wetlands to see dragonflies and your local parks and meadows to see butterflies. It's always handy to take out an identification guide to help you identify them. The weather for the next week is overcast with some prolonged showers and also a southwesterly wind which might hamper some migration but migrants that are already in the area might drop into Martin May. In particular the wood sandpiper that I saw this morning out on Doe Isles. If you've enjoyed this episode of Wildlife Weekly please share with your friends and followers on Facebook and on Twitter and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and for any more information go to our website.